Hi everybody, it's V. Um, I'm about to make a video really quick. Um, this is like basically about like relationships. Um, as it's been a while since I made a video, so just bear with me. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed their New Year's. Mine was kind of crazy because my iPhone got stolen, but I got a new one. So whoever took it, like you're messed up, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, I want to talk about relationships and just the lack of, like, loyalty and how genuine a person is in a relationship. Like, honestly, I'm, like, really tired. Like, and it's like I try. I feel like I try, like, so hard. And I feel like when I try my hardest, that's when stuff gets the most fucked up. But, um... I feel like this time karma really showed herself because um, I did something fucked up before and I feel like it came back and just bit me in the ass and I gotta live with it but um, it is what it is but um, I'm just like I'm really tired of how casual someone can be first of all I'm sick of how casual a guy can be and how blunt a guy can be like if I'm in a relationship with you. Show some, have some initiative that you really care. Like, you're genu you genuinely care. Like, I feel like if a guy really cares about you, he's going to go out of his way regardless. I feel like a relationship should be what's mine is yours. Um, well, not what's mine is yours, but 50-50. Like, I'm not going to think for two people and you just thinking for you. Like, if we're going to be together then we need to be on the same page. And I feel like in my last relationship, we said, hey, I guess we're good. We're on the same page. But look where we're at now. Like, we're broken up. And it's not like we jumped in a relationship. We were cool. Like, at least bare minimum, like, a month and a half before we even started dating, like, officially. So I'm just really worried. Like, even if you sit down and try to get to know the person, are you really getting to know the person that you're going to get in a relationship with because I feel like people put on this front this whole facade um up until they get in a relationship and then you get comfy and you forget like what happened to all the stuff you was telling me when we was cool when it was like no pressure no nothing like it's just crazy to me honestly it, it really bothers me um I'm not saying that the guy I was in a relationship that he was a bad guy because he wasn't like he had his good points just like everybody else but at the end of the day I don't want to be sitting here doing all the work and you just sitting back reaping all the benefit what kind of relationship is that like it doesn't make any sense um I'm trying so hard like to be positive just because like I said to myself and I told the boy I said if we break up, I really don't plan on dating anybody seriously till I'm done with school. Like, I'm trying to, like, seriously, like, I'm already, like, if you think about it, I'm already behind. So it's like, me being in a relationship, I got to think for two people, and then all this fuckery is going on, and it's like, it's messing up everything else. And I can't be with somebody who's going to mess up my whole train of thought. And I'm trying to get somewhere. Like, seriously, I'm trying to do something with my life. I'm not trying to be here, like, forever doing the same old thing. Because it's like, you see people in their 40s. They doing what you what you was doing when you was, like, 16. Like, come on. I'm really not trying to be like that. Um, so, like I said, in relationships, you got to be cautious of other people's feelings. You got to be more considerate. And you really got to take the time to get to know the person. I see a lot of people, like, jump into relationships and they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Like, seriously, you don't. Like, if you're not, if you, th if you don't think you're ready, don't jump into it. You jump into it, it's bound to go off the track and everything just gets fucked up. And then you're wondering, like, wow, what happened? I thought everything was cool, but it's not. Um... And for me, my parents, like, I'm not going to front and sit here and be like, I ain't grow up with no mom and no dad. I knew both my parents. So 
but even so regular families they have their situations anyone who's close to me knows that and um especially right now even though i'm 20 it's like it's times where i still i still want my father and i wish he was around but the reality is I gotta move on and I gotta try to progress for me because I'm getting older and I can't always depend on everybody to be here forever. Um, I know that's so sad, but it's the truth and this is the world for you. Um, but I, I see my older brother in relationships before I started dating and my take on it is, you F up, I'm done. Like, and my friends will tell you, Tori, if she feel like she done, she's done. Because the first sign of bullshit, like, I'm out. Like, that's just me. That's my instinct. It's because I've been through so much. By the age of 17, you would think, if you sat down to talk to me, you would think I was, like, 30. With all the stuff I've been through and the things I put up with. It's like, what? Like, you're a little kid and you talking like this. But that's the reality. And it, be, it comes from when you're young, I thought I could just trust people. You know you're young you're naive you think you can trust people the reality is you can't trust everybody and even the people that's been in your life for years something come up and it just mess up everything um so i feel like just people need to be extra careful about the relationships they just get into because you don't understand like the hurt and the pain you can cause somebody even if you're not doing it purposefully um that's one thing my ex doesn't understand like like i said he's a cool dude but he don't understand i don't think he was ready i don't think he really knew the values of being in a relationship and um you got to understand the values you really got to think it through before you make a step like that because I was so ready to be in something beautiful and something that I thought could last and we could both reap benefits from, but I was wrong. And now my heart is like, Victoria, we're tired. We don't want to do this. So like, what do I do? You know, but from the time being, I'm going to focus on school. I'm going to focus on the blog. I'm going to focus on doing what I got to do for me. Cause at the end of the day, that's what it's going to come down to. I'm done for thinking for two people. Because sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just end up always being the person who's thinking for two. Um, so that's all I got to say. So um, all my Glitter Vein fans, um, the website name has changed. The Tumblr blog has changed to Lipstick Rituals. It's no funny spellings, no dashes. Um, just lipstickrituals.tumblr.com um, I'm on Twitter I'm just going to put it in the description box um, I was trying not to be long But this video was like 8 minutes and 30 seconds um, So thanks for listening If you did listen I appreciate it